Hello everyone, David here. Today I'd like to talk about one of my favourite places in London, the Regency Cafe. It serves typical British cuisine in a kind of classic 1940s, 1950s Art Deco style. I want to go into its history a little bit and just try and find out what makes it so popular. Let's go. So I live in London and some of my friends kind of lived around here and grew up around here so they've been coming here forever. Yeah, they just introduced me to this place a few years ago and people love it and it's beautiful and I bring all my friends who are in town here. Oh, gotta get this at breakfast. I get beans, tea and toast at Hash Browns. Okay. It's delicious. Marco Schiavetta. I own and run the Regency Cafe along with my business partner Claudia Perotti. We've been here since 1986. I took it over in 86 with Claudia's father. My father decided that I was 21 and the amount of money I was earning wasn't enough. So he said, go and have a look at this shop in Westminster. So I did. And I stood out there and I looked through the window and there's an enormous Italian guy called Mr. Magnani. This is a real deal. This is not like a West End cafe. This is just a, this is a West End boutique cafe. This is a proper old-fashioned working man's restaurant. And we've been here ever since. And it's a simple operation. It's hard work, but it's a simple operation. If you're coming here just once, then you can't really go wrong by ordering the set breakfast. It's delicious and really good value for money. Um, my personal favourites are also the steak pie with gravy, and it goes really well with chips, and also the roast chicken. And if you come by on a Friday, they do a really good fish and chips. Yeah. So, um, yeah, how did you find out about the Regency Cafe? Uh, just a quick Google search, nothing special. Time Out London or something. Okay. Maybe one of TripAdvisor, something like that. Okay, so you sort of saw reviews online and then... Yeah, thought, oh, literally it just good. looked up best cafe in London and then one of this, this spot came up. And it's, it's a pretty long queue. Are you prepared to wait a little bit for your separate? I mean, oh, you know what? It's gotten longer since I've arrived. But um, yeah, you know, it just, it just means that it's worth the wait. You know, if uh, more people are outside. I think it adds uh, more value to the food. My earliest memory of this area is when I came for a walk around after leaving school and I went past the laundrette and I saw the old fish and chips. I thought, I wonder if I'll ever come here again. And I've been here all my life. <laughs> I can't believe it. Cafe's been a cafe since 1946. And before that, it was a pawnbroker's because that was big business during the, after the war. So you sort of went with the reviews you saw online and... Is yeah, we wanted some kind of like a standard English breakfast and this seems like the place for that, so... We're from California, so we don't have many places that serve food like this. Yeah. People love it, it's very old-fashioned, it's, um, it's everything. The food's fresh, we try hard, the prices are reasonable, the decor's great. It's an old place, hard to keep, hard to keep it looking like it's 100 years old. In 1946, that side was also part of the restaurant where the blue building is, which used to be a bookmaker's, then it was a Bangladeshi centre for something. But that used to be part of the cafe and it was segregated. Blue collar was on one side and white collar was on this side because you didn't mix in those days. Civil servants didn't mix with the working man, get their suits dirty and stuff like that. We were visiting, so we were hanging around and we were looking for a place to have some breakfast. Okay. So right. it was one of the best rated in the area. We had a look at the menu online, so <laughs> I think we're going to get the set breakfast and see what else is on there, maybe the extras. I have to say, I've only added and subtracted from the menu. I haven't changed it very much. Because when I first came here, you could have egg, bacon, sausage, beans, or tomatoes, toast or bread, and that was your lot. Right. There was no mushrooms. No, oh, there was mushrooms, they were tinned. Okay. Tinned mushrooms, no black pudding, no homemade bubble and squeak, nothing like that. Um, so we just added all that stuff to ourselves, made it all ourselves, we sell tons of it. Would you eat this kind of food back home in Paris? No. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we like scrambled eggs. Yes, sometimes. Yes. Uh, some, uh, sometimes on Sunday, but not every morning. We, we don't eat beans. No. Like English no, beans, never. In France, never. it's not very common. <laughs> right, okay. All day long, it's busy from 8 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, no break. Dad said to me, the, the secret of business is having a good business partner. You can have half the time off, he or she can have half the time off, otherwise it's a slog. And he was right. He said, Marco, this place will never not be busy. He said, all the places in the West End, there's millions of them, they all sell the same thing. He said, don't go there. Okay. He said, do something special that's hardly, that they don't do anymore. It's hard to find a good calf. Mm. Really is, yeah. as you know. Yeah. I don't mind hard work, I like hard work, but there is a, there's a limit.
There's a good chance you've seen the cafe already in films or in TV. It's been used as the filming location for some very famous movies like Layer Cake, Brighton Rock, Pride, and Rocket Man. It's double aspect. It's loads of light. There's loads of history. It can be latter day, present day. There's loads of room for the crew. There's loads of room for the cameras. They can tweak it here and there, uh, which they did when they made Brighton Rock. They changed the street signs outside and created an evening of rain in, the, in Page Street. It was quite amazing, and that's it, actually. Because like, you see, watch them make the film, you think, God, they just film for two or three minutes mm -hmm. to get that shot, don't they? Mm -hmm. And then they mix it all up together, and all, this, all the rubbish that you've been invigilating turned out to be a magnificent film, you know? Like, Layer Cake was great film, I enjoyed it. Was it nice? Did yeah, very like? nice. Yeah. Uh, apart from the queue, but uh, the, the, the English breakfast was perfect. I used to live here and I knew about this cafe as right. soon as I get in London, so yeah. Okay. What do you think makes the food so good? Uh, I don't know, probably the environment, the, you know, also the, the, the way it's set up. The experience. Uh, the experience, I would yeah. say, yes. What's your favourite thing on the menu? I like the homemade steak pie with a special homemade beef gravy. Yeah. It's all good, you know. There's only one thing that we don't make. That's yeah. the steak pudding, because it's quite popular. That suet, baby, they call it baby's head, you know that? So it's all fresh, it's all homemade, and it's all reasonable. You know, the only thing that sticks out on the menu to me is the corned beef, because it seems quite different to everything else. And it's not something that, that was I, that was yeah. uh, on the menu when we came. Yeah. Uh, and you serve it with piccalilli. Do you remember those? The corned beef and piccalilli, oh, boiled right. potatoes. Right. Um, what's funny is when the Americans come in and go, oh, I'll have the corned beef. I say, you won't like that. <laughs> he says, oh, why not? I say, well, it's cold, sliced, tinned meat. I say, it's like being at war. Don't have it. Right. You go, okay, uh, I must try it in America. It must be lovely. The quality of the ingredients are simple but nice. Um, they're very organised inside as well. When you're speaking to your friends back home in Italy, how would you describe this place to them? An old breakfast place that kind of gives you the vibe of being in the 1950s with traditional English breakfast that you wouldn't find anywhere else in London. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any sauce? Ketchup, please. Good man. Thank you. Young lady. You and Claudia really project. No, we also, both of us have a chronically loud voice. I'm not sure who's got the loudest voice, me or her. But we do have very strong voice. My, 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 her far, it's a, I don't know if it's an Italian thing. But, um, I think it's quite funny. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's, it's great. It's and we, we both got a bit of character. Mm. So um, that rubs off too, mm. you know. But you know, sometimes I can hear the orders through my open window. Uh, there's a slight sort of Pavlovian response, actually. And yeah, you like, get hungry. Yeah. Actually, I'd like to go to the cafe. So, maybe I'll see you down here. If you found this video entertaining on some level, then do leave me a like, and you can help me out by subscribing to my channel as well. Okay, see you next time.